each yeah. side. Well, welcome back to the best of investing. I'm Edward Brown, your host. And when we cut to the third commercial break, we ask this trivia question. Our theme song, the William Tell Overture, is the same as a show from the 1950s. What hero type show was it? Glenn, you know the answer to that. Flashback, The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger with Tonto, that's right. And we're going to cut now to Ken Winans, who has another segment of In the Trenches. Take it away, Ken. I show that we have exactly four minutes to go. Because um, I have here 8.57, you take 4.57 away. Right, okay. So that's what I've got. Okay, so. All right. <coughs> and you'll give me a one minute. Uh, yeah, so you Actually, give me, one, give me a minute 30 minute seconds. 30? Okay, can, so you, can you do a horror story in two minutes and 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. Okay. I could do a few of them. Oh, <laughs> Two okay. minutes and thirty. I know it's amazing how, how long sometimes that is. Yeah. <coughs> Two thirty minutes is uh, all we've got. Yeah. I'll cut off to you. Alrighty. Um. Well, hold on. Let me save this real quick. This is just Ken's reading, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't can't uh, can 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 the trenches. So say thank you, Ken, and then okay. mention who we have in the studio audience. <coughs> Cover to Michelle. Thank you, Ken, for that In the Trenches segment. Um, we are in the studio audience with Glenn Youngling and Michelle Lerman. And Michelle, since we're right on Halloween coming up here pretty soon, give us some Halloween horror stories. Oh, I have so many that how long do we have? We That's have, how many. We have two minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds. There are so many things that people do wrong with their estate planning. It's absolutely shocking. I just closed a probate for a gentleman who was in his 90s, bedridden, and yet he didn't have a living trust signed. What he had was a one-page document with a bunch of beneficiaries listed on it, and he signed it, and he sent it to his lawyer to have an estate plan revised according to those terms, but apparently he didn't want to spend the money to have the lawyer come back and, and write it up. I don't know if he thought that one piece of paper was enough. It was dated and signed, but I don't really know. I mean, it's not really a legal document. And it turns out that the court agreed it was not a legal document. Uh -oh. Everything needed to go through probate. And the how, how, fees, large, how large was the estate? The estate was, uh, was about almost a couple million, a little less. Ouch. The, mm -hmm. uh, between the legal fees, the executor fees, the, um, the court fees, the filing fees, ended up being around $75,000 of fees in that estate. It would have been $3,500 for him to have a, a plan done. But the worst part of it, I mean, it's pretty bad having all those fees and, and all the time and energy to get the property and the estate passed on. But what was even worse is who ended up getting the estate. Because who ended up getting the estate, there wasn't one person on his list of who he wanted to you know, who he wanted it to go to not one of them got it there were charities on his list friends it ended up going to two relatives that he was estranged from well, that's wait, it. I don't understand why because the laws of intestate succession that's how it ended up <laughs> but, but why would the um, those relatives get it compared to the ones who because under the laws of intestate succession it first goes to a spouse there was no spouse yeah. it then goes to parents there were no parents okay. Um, there were no children. No goldfish. And and so it went to the, the according next. to the statute. That's who it wow, went to. Wow, that, that is a <laughs> horror was story. Sad. Well, I want to thank you, Michelle Lerman. We're going to definitely have you on again, um, who is an expert in uh, states and probates. And Glenn Youngling, thank you also for uh, being uh, with us. And uh, get this, okay, these are a couple of thoughts for the day. The strongest muscle in the body is the tongue. 
Uh, that explains a lot in my house, that's for sure. And uh, you know how they bet on everything in Las Vegas? Well, this, and this will go to the Halloween thing. Uh, in, Las, in 1980, a Las Vegas hospital suspended workers for betting on when patients would die. Man, that is nasty. I want to thank my engineer, Hunter Hornstein, for orchestrating this show. And then my guests, thank you also. Tune in next week to The Best of Investing. We're going to be giving away nine more free vacations for answering trivia questions. And stay tuned in the next coming weeks. We're going to be giving away some super nice vacations to the Sonoma Mission Inn and the Ritz-Carlton for answering trivia questions. And thanks for listening. On, our be on behalf of our team, I'm Edward Brown, wishing you the best of investing. So long.